The Soviet MiG-29, a formidable fighter aircraft, is now serving in NATO due to various geopolitical factors and military agreements. Introduced in the 1980s, the MiG-29 was designed as a frontline air superiority fighter for the Soviet Union. With the collapse of the Soviet Union, several countries that acquired the MiG-29 joined NATO. These countries, including Poland, Hungary, and the Czech Republic, sought to modernize their air forces with compatible aircraft. The MiG-29's inclusion in NATO allows for improved interoperability and communication among member nations. NATO also benefits from the MiG-29's capabilities, such as its superior maneuverability and high-performance engines. The aircraft's use by NATO members helps to bolster the alliance's air defense capabilities and deter potential adversaries. Furthermore, the MiG-29's integration into NATO provides opportunities for joint training and exercises with allied forces. Soviet-era aircraft possess unique characteristics and flying techniques that can be valuable for NATO pilots to understand. The MiG-29's presence within NATO demonstrates the alliance's inclusivity and willingness to incorporate diverse military assets. By accepting the MiG-29, NATO illustrates its commitment to promoting stability and cooperation with former Soviet bloc countries. However, the MiG-29's integration into NATO has also posed challenges in terms of standardizing maintenance, supply chains, and spare parts. Nonetheless, these challenges have been addressed through joint initiatives and collaborative procurement programs. In conclusion, the Soviet MiG-29 service in NATO stems from strategic and practical considerations, strengthening the alliance both militarily and politically.